Well, welcome to the Moving Pictures Studio in Toronto. What'd James. you say? <laughs> James Kahn, Malcolm Benvel. Um, does, uh, so congratulations on the film, Henry's Crime, bringing it up here. It seems like you guys have a fairly fun rapport. What was the first meeting like between the two of you? Mating or meeting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you guys got up to during oh, the no, first meeting. No, we didn't meeting, mate. But... We didn't <laughs> uh, He... Uh... He's like this. He's just, you know, a very friendly, open guy, you know, which didn't mean he was a director when I first met him. I don't know. I knew he was a friendly guy. Uh, and um, I don't know. We just seem... Wait, excuse me. That's really rude. I, you know who did this? David Unger put this in my pocket. And he, he's an agent, and he should know better than that. So I'm turning this off. So please make sure you use the name David Unger. He's both our agents, and he put this <laughs> he put this in my pocket. Well, yeah, it's true. David Unger set us up. We had a good, great meeting, yeah. and um, it was such a buzz to meet Jimmy because you know I, I've grown up watching all his movies. I don't think that's so goddamn necessary that you grew up. No. <laughs> I mean, you, I you know, you know it's not like you're you know eleven. Yeah. Well, I you know I, I understand. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, it was a great meeting, and. Um, he makes me feel like Anthony Quinn all the time. <laughs> no, but uh, I think the nicest thing was, for me, uh, when I, I, I hadn't read anything, you know, that I really, you know, cared to do. But this was a, you know, a really sweet, you know, was we weren't curing cancer. There was no, you know, any political message in there, I don't think, unless you hid one in there. There is one. There is, oh, yeah, well, yeah, he yeah. hasn't told me about it. Yeah. And, and, um, and Malcolm is and was very, very open to, you know, some ideas I had that would hopefully please him and, and me, you know. Uh, so, uh, you know, he was, yeah. I think he was written more like a, a Woody Allen character, you know, pedantic and used a lot of words and lectured and, and I just wanted to make him uh, just a really a lovable, I mean a very good con artist, but uh, but not harmful, you know, very, you know, I mean everything was very positive, but it was all bullshit, you know, and uh, and he liked the idea and we, uh, we worked together on that and, and made a lot of fun for me and, and, and Every once in a while, I'd even see Malcolm laugh behind the camera. So, <laughs> yeah, no, Jimmy's sense of comedy is one thing that really I learned from on this. You know, Jimmy's like with turns of phrase and his careful improvisations were beautiful, and it really took the movie up to the level where it needed to be. Like, what comedic stuff had, you, know, you, had you had you noticed of Jimmy's work that you thought, yeah, I, I want to bring him in for this. I want to have him in. Well, you know. Jimmy's movies that he's done a broad, he's just a broad range of, of work, you know, yeah. all, all the way from like the drama from the Yards, from the Godfather, you know, f you know, all the way down to Rollerball, to Elf, to to Misery, you know. So, you know, it was just musicals. Yeah, uh, Guys and Dolls. And, uh, <laughs> you sang an Elf as well. No, well, I did one with Streisand and one yeah. from with uh, with with uh, with uh, uh, for, for the boys. I I, I did that too. Anyway, but go ahead. I'm just trying to get my credits in. Go ahead. <laughs> I, 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 you know, and so there were, there were such brilliant With moments. Benton, and they, sorry. And they, yeah, and they just really brought the movie up, you know, and really enhanced some of the humor. Some of the stuff that Jimmy brought wasn't in the script, so I'm really grateful to you, mate. That's okay. I didn't see anything extra in my check, but thank you. <laughs>